Alright, let's clear 10-11 with the high end easy strategy. I will directly do it on the obverse mode, so remember to change it from the left corner on bottom side. Anyways, um, as I promised in the FK1, with this one is a lot simpler. So only those six operators, basically cuts it, Mandrock, Surtur and Aya. Those four are enough, but it's better if you bring the backpipe startup, so backpipe plus Myrtle. Anyways, let's do this. Let me show you so you will understand. With the manual trigger skill cults, it is a lot simple. As monster is one of the strongest in the chapter 10. Because monster has a f almost a 6000 HP and the cannon deals 3000 true damage. Anyways, immediately Mirto Q, then Pepe Q. When this enemy caster is not on those two tiles anymore, let's see the hero face on bottom side. Okay, do it for DP. Hey, yeah, here, face on uh, actually no wait. Get DP first. Okay. Um, sort of here, face on left side. Hey, yeah, here, face on left side. And then you deploy monster. Remember, monster at the end because else this enemy caster will hit a uh, few times. Will not uh, kill her, but uh, yeah, I just don't like to uh, see a. Uh, you can see there is an enemy coming. I have to kill the enemy on top side. Mandrog here, face on bottom side, and you can retreat the sword. Also, Aya skill during this wave. The monster will take less damage. Okay, boom. Okay, monster skill run now, then the caster is close to him. Topside is on good. Remember, you have Surtur for emergency situations. The way to those two tentacle enemies come. Then, monster speed. As you can see, it's a lot of simple, right? Respect to the FK1. The FK1 you uh, is a bit risky because this stage is just hard. But anyways, during the last wave, so when those two blade enemies and when those two blade enemies are close, yeah. Okay, and the cannon will go on Madrock. Here we go. Really simple, right? Eh?